Hello everyone, this is Pablo with Crafties915 and today I'm going to show you how to replace the blade on your GCC Expert 2 LX cutter. So, stick around. Okay, so if at any point uh, um, during one of your jobs, you know, you notice that your blade is not cutting as sharp, that it's leaving behind, you know, some nicks, um, you know, especially on, you know, tiny letters or, or, uh, or figures or objects, um, then it might be, you know, time for you to replace uh, the blade. And it's very easy. It's a, it's a fairly easy process. Okay, uh, I just replaced my Teflon cutting strip, that white strip that you see right there. I, I just replaced it, you know, because I was in the middle of the job and uh, I needed to replace my uh, my blade and I replaced my blade and I noticed that uh, it was still you know, leaving some some nicks and so I looked at my Teflon strip and I noticed that it had you know some very deep marks and so that is going to affect uh, you know the way your your blade cuts even if it's a new blade and so because I was in a rush and I needed to do uh, you know finish that uh, order I replaced the strip uh, and I should have taken video of it I should have you know done a video on how to replace the strip but I'll do that next I'll you know I, I know I'm gonna have to replace the strip you know sooner or later so I'll do that video um, you know sometime but now I'm going to show you how to replace the blade on your GCC cutter and it's a fairly easy process uh, so let's get our blades ready and uh, we'll be right back. And so here's uh, my blades. You know, they come uh, five to a pack. And uh, they're not that expensive, uh, you know, for the use that you get out of them. I think I paid about, you know, 49 or 50 bucks, you know, for, for the pack, which is not bad. And so they come with this uh, red... The red cap this red protective cap and I'll show you this goes into the housing and then the blade itself is covered and protected by this uh, red cap so I'm going to take my new blade and I'm going to take my old blade off the machine okay and so to remove uh, the old blade, you need to pull on this clip right here. And I'm going to do it one handed. It's not that hard. And there's my blade holder, and my blade is actually in there. I don't know if you can see it, but let me, let me move this way. Um, The blade is right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew this uh, blade housing and pull out my blade. It's held onto it by a magnet. And this magnet is actually the one that pushes the blade into the vinyl. Okay, so let me do that. And I'll pause the video for a while. So we're going to unscrew this housing. Pull the blade out. And we're going to insert our new blade. Uh, your new blade is going to have that protective red cap that holds, protects the blade. You're going to insert it like this. Okay. And it's magnetic, so it stays there. It's not going to fall. And then screw this back on. Now these numbers, uh, you can 
unscrew or screw this you know to your liking if you see that uh, you know it's cutting too deep just loosen it a little bit so that the blade doesn't show through too much if it's not uh, cutting deep enough then you screw it so that the blade shows a little bit more through there okay. and I'm gonna tighten it all the way and now we're ready to put it back on the blade holder on the on the housing itself so here we are I'm gonna put it there and then this this lip right here this lip goes right on top of this section and then you clip it on there you go you've just replaced the blade on your GCC cutter okay so that was replacing the blade on the GCC Expert 2LX now I know people are going to ask me how often do you replace uh, your blades well um, I don't replace my blades that often when I see that um, you know my blade is not cutting perfectly and it's leaving some nicks here and there, you know, very small nicks. Uh, what I do, I increase the pressure uh, on my program, on, on my uh, grade cut pro, uh, four program. Uh, and I increase it by, you know, factors of five. So by default, my uh, grade cut uh, four program is at 80 grams. Uh, I will increase it to 85. Uh, then if it starts doing that again, I'll increase it again to about 90. Um, and so forth until I get to about a hundred once I get to a hundred and it's still you know not cu not cutting deep enough and not cutting clean enough then I replace my blade and so it just depends on the number of jobs that I have you know sometimes I'll replace my my blade you know every two months sometimes I will replace my blade you know within six weeks uh, it's just you know it just depends on how busy you are how many jobs you have you know, so if you're replacing blades, you know, like me, you know, uh, six weeks into it or, or two weeks into it, hey, you know what, feel blessed because that means that you're using it a lot and you have a lot of work. Um, but also, you know, it may mean that, um, you know, you, you're putting too much pressure uh, on the, uh, the, you know, the blade itself when you're cutting. You know, so if you feel that you're putting too much pressure, like, you know, it's cutting through the carrier sheet, just pull it back. Pull back the pressure by factors of five and, um, and then, you know, use it, you know, uh, until you see that it starts leaving, you know, little bits and pieces here and there. So hopefully this helped you. And if you have any other questions, you know, just uh, let us know. Subscribe to our channel and visit our website, um, Crafties915. Dot com. Uh, we are a, a Caesar authorized reseller. That means that if you need Easy Weed, if you need a Caesar, uh, um, you know, HTV heat transfer vinyl, or even if you need uh, Caesar uh, machines, cap presses or, or heat presses, hit us up. You know, send us an email and we'll we'll hook you up. You know, we're an authorized reseller, and we will we will match the uh, competitors' prices. Thank you very much and be blessed. And happy crafting.